Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be doing an unboxing and initial look at this Raybing foldable mini remote control drone which I actually won recently from OGCAM. They were holding a raffle there and yay I happened to get a winning ticket. And thanks to the fine folks there who ran the conference, it's more of an unconference. Very interesting if you're interested in free open source software. And actually not all talks were computing related. But I found it an interesting and insightful unconference in that we don't actually know what talks were going on prior to the show starting or prior to the conference starting. So what we have in the box is the instruction manual and yeah there's quite a few pages of this. Um, I've had trouble making sense of this so far and just kind of gone for the uh, let's just try it out on the app how difficult can it be. Yeah. Maybe RTFM may help me there. We have this bag of bits, so we've got a charging cable, it's USB charging cable, a few spare propellers, in fact actually a full complement of spare propellers. A couple of other parts I've not worked out exactly what they are yet. Might be landing feet, I'm guessing. Got a spanner, the basic tools needed to work on a device. That's for connecting onto the remote control so you can put your phone on there. Because it does have a video camera, despite its uh, small size, and I cannot emphasize the fact that is tiny. Let's get a couple of things of uh, size comparisons. So there's a beer mat, or a one penny coin. <laughs> yeah, it's small. And incidentally, talking about money, I believe the retail value is about 40 British pounds. Taken it out of its little protective case in the remote control, you can see the propellers fold out. And we have two orange and two white propellers on this particular model. There's not a switch here as well as the charger. It does light up and lights up. The lights do slow down a bit when the battery is running out. I yeah, have had an initial play around with this. So that's the remote control. Um, yeah. The controls there do seem to snap back and it feels nice. A bit of a jagged edging on the remote, but it's, uh, it's more of a unique design. I don't think that's too uncomfortable. I'm just holding it here at the minute. I don't find that too uncomfortable to hold, really. So that's the Wi-Fi connection to the drone. And yeah, opening up the application, Wi-Fi UFO, with a weird name for it, it seems to be very hit and miss whether I actually get a connection or not. And lately it seems to be miss more than hit. In fact, I've just not had it work at all lately. So you get the controls, propeller speed and direction. Yeah, it did have the camera overlay on here, but now that stopped working, which is a shame. I would love to have shown you what the camera looks like. Not exactly high quality, but I don't know what I really expected from what is a fairly cheap drone. Connecting to the remote, yeah, good problem with the volume control button and actually the the overall slipperiness of um yeah, adjusted the ringtone volume there. Yeah the overall slipperiness of the uh, the Pixel 1 has made this um prone to almost slip out. Yeah. That's not good. But yeah the <laughs> the Pixel 1 is a bit of a slippery phone, I find. No. I've had to offset it, um, yeah. That's it, yeah, the remote control's on and... The drone is an absolute bugger to try and fly. <laughs> Quite hard. Well, here's a bit of a view from the camera, and yeah, I know my own video camera here is not particularly good, so... It's a bit of a view of it. So... That's effectively the app, so yeah, the, the controls are you know, very responsive here. Let's just cut that. <laughs> We've got a close up of the mug, keep calm and drink coffee mug. Yeah, I, I, I still am trying to get my head around trying to fly this, and, and I'm going to be pretty limited to what I can try and record on my own, but that's, uh, that's a little look at it. That was an initial look at this Raybing foldable drone. 
once I get my head around it, I'll post some more videos. And yeah, see how I get on from there. And thanks for watching. See you all later.